what's up guys oh my god I feel like I haven't been on here forever so a little life update for you um, things are going really well uh, back from vacation and had such a nice relaxing time away it was great to spend time with family and if you're curious yes I was a hundred percent faithful to my meal plan I brought uh, my food scale I brought my blender I brought all of my supplements, my vitamins, my BCAAs, my protein, everything that I needed to have a successful week away. And while that may sound really crazy because a lot of us think like, you know, hey, we're on vacation and we can just indulge, it's okay to do that, it totally is. Um, and I'm not saying it's not, I just, I am so focused on my goal of competing that I want nothing but to be faithful and committed. So um, my coach developed a special training program for me down at the beach because there was no gym. <clears throat> so I brought my barbell and some weights and some dumbbells and she customized a week of training down at the beach. And it was really interesting to see um, you know how I was gonna keep up with that because I was a little leery you know like going away for a week and not training can set you back a week right if you don't train for a week you're set back for a week when you're consistent then the results are consistent so it was amazing like I had um, I had time every day to train I got up early I did my cardio in the morning I either lifted after that or before that just depending upon how the day was going and it was just awesome and I was really proud of myself um, so yeah that was good went out to eat twice and again followed the meal plan I asked her to make it very simple though while I was away like eggs and you know fish and vegetables and things like that so I'm on a certain amount of macros I'm on a surplus right now I'm gaining muscle so my food volume was very nice but simple because I'm away on vacation I don't want it difficult you know um, so I was able to go out and have some seafood and vegetables and partake in the family dinners so it was really nice um, I enjoyed it I really did and I'm glad to be back and hitting the gym hard and I guess Having a week away like that really um, enabled me to relax and to enjoy and to wake up without my alarm going off. You know, those things all bring your cortisol levels down. You know, the smell of the ocean, swimming in the ocean and sitting on the beach and just watching the boats and the seagulls, like honestly, that is my place. Um, so I became very relaxed. I, I didn't do any work. I didn't call any patients. Like I just was away and it was really, really nice. So with that, I come home and I am just stronger than I was when I left. And I'm definitely seeing some increase in muscle and I'm just amazed at how the body works when you don't train for a while if you injure yourself like I did the muscle memory is there it comes right back guys it's crazy when you have your eating dead on and you're training every day that muscle comes back and it comes back with a vengeance because I think my shoulders you know I'm trying to get those caps the lateral heads of the delts um, they're coming in quick so I'm like super excited and I think next week my training, every I, I have a different training program each month, um, different meal plan each week. And so next week uh, is the end of this training, um, monthly training. So I will get a whole new program and I can't wait to see what that's gonna be. But this one has been really good. My meal plan has been um, carb cycling because uh, I'm not wonderful with a lot of carbs and certain kinds of carbs. So my meal plan that my coach made me is um, a couple days on very low carb, almost keto-ish, and then I get two high carb days, and those are um, 
done on the days that I have heavy lifting. So today was a really high carb day. It was oatmeal and fruit and rice and beans um, along with the protein and things like that. And tonight is leg night. So I, my muscles are loaded with glycogen right now and I have so much energy to get that leg workout in. I'm so excited for legs tonight. Uh, tomorrow will be low carb. So um, it's predominantly protein and veggies with added fat. So it's kind of like that keto, but it's not like full on keto. Um, my calories from when I was on Optavia right now, now this, this has been gradually week by week from my coach so that I'm not gaining fat. Because when you go from, you know, really low calorie to a surplus, especially at my age, you, you put on fat pretty easily. Like when you're building muscle, you're going to put on a little bit of fat. That's just part of the deal. And that's so you can grow. And then when you're all grown and your muscles are in there and you're getting close to show day, like, I don't know, 12, 16 weeks out, that's when you slowly start to really cut. Hold on. That's when you really start to cut. And that is when you lean out and those muscles are popping. So I look forward to this. I think she's doing a phenomenal job. I'm more than grateful at the, you know, we have almost a full year because the competition isn't until uh, spring, I believe, next year. So we're in August right now. So I have August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. So it's kind of like nine to 10 months of prep. And a lot of people are like, what? That is way too long. But you guys have to remember, I'm not in my 20s, I'm not in my 30s, and I'm not in my 40s anymore. The big 5-0, Yes, my body is not what it was back then. So increasing my calories a little by little by little each week and doing all kinds of, um, you know, bodybuilding exercises. I'm doing a lot of HIIT. I'm doing a lot of, um, like, body exercises, you know, um, lunges and, you know, all those kind of things um, really are making a difference. I'm like so excited and impressed at my coach <laughs> she is awesome so um and she listens and she's responsive like I told her today that those black beans were giving me a stomach ache because they did I had a stomach ache from like it came out of nowhere after I ate and she's right away she's like no problem we can tweak that you know if we need to just let me know like she is just I mean she's an angel I love her. If any of you, I'm not getting paid for this, but if any of you are interested in a meal plan, training, anything, even if you're not competing, get in touch with her. I'll leave her link below. She is just amazing. And um, I could not do this without her. So that's my update as far as that goes. Um, other than that, guys, back to work. Stress level is a little high. You know, when you come back from vacation and then all of a sudden you have, you know, all these patients and everything going on. And, you know, when you're away a week, it's like you've been away for a year. <laughs> so my stress level is a little bit high. I won't lie. Um, so I'm trying to keep it low. I'm trying to, you know, be diligent about everything that I'm doing. And um, I just took a ride over to Ulta and Target, picked up a couple things that, um, if you're interested, I'll show you. So Ulta, I only got one thing that I needed so bad. So having blonde hair and the color that's showing up is not the best because of the sun. But um, in order to keep the blonde blonde and, you know, um, without it turning too brassy, I use this. I swear by this. This stuff is the best. Let me just see who's pulling up in front of my... Nope. Okay. I thought that was for me. Um, I use Joyco. This is the purple shampoo. It's called Color Balance. This stuff is so good. Of all the purple shampoos on the market, I will have to tell you, because most of them are very drying, this one is slightly drying. Not Nothing compared to like Shimmer Light and, you know, the... Um, What's that other one? Fanola. All those are very drying, I think. This one 
happens to be very good. So if you have blonde and you're afraid of, you know, drying it out with the purple shampoo, but you really need it, this would be the brand I recommend. So then when I was in Target, okay, so let's backtrack. I love waves, right? So for some reason, when I do my hair with a curling iron, I get like, I don't know, these floppy curls that I just don't like. So I try to use my flat iron, like I have tutorials on, um, but it, sometimes they come out a little weird. Like today, they're just, I don't know, they're just a little weird. And I've been eyeing up this thing for, it has to be over a year now. And I just never dove into buying it. But tonight, while I was in Target, they had one left. It was like 20 something bucks. And I grabbed it. And here it is. It's that deep waver thing <laughs> by Bedhead. This is what I'm gonna, I, I wanna do a tutorial for you guys. Let me know if you wanna see it and I'll film it. But um, this is called the Wave Artist. See it? And it gives you like really nice waves and then you can put your, woo, there go my glasses. Hello. <laughs> you can, the sun's in my face, but you can put your fingers through it and it gives you that really nice wave. So I don't know. I'm going to try it. We'll see what happens. Something cool. If you want to see a tutorial, let me know below. Another thing they had there that I absolutely love every, every fall I buy. And this year they had such cute colors. It's their joggers and they were $19.99 by Universal Thread. This is the waist. It has a pocket on each side so hard to show you sitting here in the car but see the bottom they fit so good they only had medium large and extra large so I got a medium they're very very loose on me I definitely could have been um a small maybe an extra small I don't know but I could throw these in a the dryer and not worry about them so I picked up the medium they fit great um they were in the um adult section not like the kid um the wild fable it's not like the you know the tween section this was like in the regular adult section and it is like buttery soft and this is what the tag looks like if anybody wants to know and it was $19.99 then I grabbed similar color but darker which this I absolutely love it's a sweatshirt Look at this color it's like kind of faded already it kind of reminds me of the color of those like I guess those like faded jeans doesn't it kind of remind you of like faded jeans but it's so buttery soft and it's it's not cropped but it's not long it literally comes like you know like when you button your jeans where the button would be it comes just like right to there so here's what the sweatshirt looks like it's just a plain little sweatshirt there's the bottom so cozy you know like you could wear this over your gym clothes you could wear it I mean even though it doesn't match but you could wear this together in your house watching a movie whatever weekend hanging out by the fire pit I could wear the sweatshirt with jeans. I could wear the, the pants with a tank top. Like, you can mix and match. And they had them in all colors. They had, like, the sweatshirts came in yellow, like a mustard yellow, that charcoal gray, which I love. Um, I think they had it in blue and pink. The pants, the joggers, they had in that gray. They had, like, an off-white. I wasn't a big fan of that color. A very, very pale, like, dusty rose. Eh. Um, I prefer the dark colors and then they had like this foresty looking green color, um, which I was actually interested in, but they only had them in a double X. So I, I didn't get it. But if you can find these things in your target, I'm telling you they're soft, they're comfortable and they're so worth the price. They wash so nicely. They will last and last for 20 bucks. You can't go wrong. Oh, and the sweatshirt sweatshirt was the same price $19.99 there it is all right so I'm gonna bring my little stash inside I am gonna um, eat change and then walk the dogs and then head out to the gym 
So, um, again, thanks for like listening to my little update and look, seeing what I got at the store. And again, if you want to see the waiver tutorial, let me know below and I'll make that video. But, um, other than that, follow me on Instagram guys. I document every day, tons of gym pictures. I'm trying to come up with a way to film like the training that I'm doing. So on leg day, I'll have a ton of leg exercises, like me doing them. And, um, like a back day, bicep day. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to film these things and put them all together. So that's something that I'm doing on Instagram. Um, so follow me there. Same name is here, Felicia Nurse. And that's about it. So I will see you all soon. Thanks for sticking by. And um, hopefully it won't be as lengthy in between videos as this one was. But um, I had a vacation and I had some stuff going on. So I appreciate you uh, coming back. All right. I'll see you all soon. Stay focused, guys, because you can do it too. If I can, you can. Trust me. All right. Have a great night. Bye, guys.